Hi, this is Dawn Olszewski and welcome to another episode of How'd You Do That? And today we're going to make this adorable Halloween cat card. This uses the Frightening Feline from the 2012 Holiday Mini Catalog. It has a fun technique called um, Moonlighting. It's a masking technique with sponging. So let's get started. So before we do our stamping, um, we actually need to cut this fence. And believe it or not, this is a die. Yes, Stampin' Up! doesn't carry a fence die. However, we carry the designer rosette die that has kind of the zigzag at the top that kind of looks like a fence. So let me show you how I did that. I'm using basic gray. This is sized at 2 and 1 eighth by 11 and when we cut this we can get two fences out of it so now how are you going to position this on the die is pull it all the way to the top there's like an edge of the foam let me get this out of the way so you can see so I've got it at the top lined up with my straight edge this will give me a straight edge at the bottom as well now the sandwich that you need for this is that you're going to put a cutting plate underneath and then on top, you really do need the premium crease pad. This is the extended one um, for this extra large um, die. So here we go. Got that cut. We'll just pull it apart. Now the smaller piece, is the piece we'll discard, but actually I don't discard too many things. I'm going to save this. I'm sure I can figure out a way to use it on another project. And then this piece is the one that we want to use for our fence. So we only need half of this. Like I said, one strip. We'll do two fences. So what I want to do at this point is I'm just going to bend these at the creases. Not a lot, but just a little so that I can get in there with my sponge. I'm going to come in closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Because now I'm going to sponge uh, um, those creases. So I'll pull it back. Fold. I don't want to fold all the way because I don't want, um, you know, huge creases in my fence. So we'll just do that real quick. I'll probably take the sponge and sponge my the tips of the fence as well. So we'll do that real quick. So here we go. We got the sponging, and see how that really makes that those kind of fence post pops here here what it looks like before and here's what it looks like with the sponging so that really adds a lot of detail. We created the fence because we want to position it at the bottom. Now I'm going to put it there but not adhere it. Fence at the bottom. That's why we cut it first so we can know where to put our cat. Now this cat is the frightening feline it is from Stampin' Up! in the 2012 Holiday Catalog. Now what I'm going to do is just slide this away and then stamp. I'm using Black Stays On and that is because we're stamping on glossy paper and this is sized at 3 and 3 quarters by 5 inches. Now this does have to dry and oftentimes what I'll do is to kind of speed the process up a little bit. You certainly could get out your your heat tool, but um, I like to just do like a rub on some scratch paper and that leaves a little bit, you can see that, leaves a little bit behind and that just will help speed that up a little bit. So once this is dry, we can do the moonlighting technique. Alright, the moonlighting technique starts with a template, a masking template. And so this is post-it notes and I'm going to take my two and a half inch circle punch and um, I have a few of these here. We're going to punch a circle. I found that just trying to punch out of one post-it note is, is a little too thin for my punch. So I've layered a few of them together. And actually, before I punch, this is the sticky. You want to make sure you catch as much of the sticky part as you can. And there we go. Okay, so now we're going to take one of the stickies and we're going to place it over the cat. And this is where I want my moon to shine from. So there we go. This is a masking technique. So we're going to mask that area so it remains white and we're going to come in with some sponging. 
Now the sponging that we're going to use is Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, and Cajun Craze. Alright, so we're going to start with the Daffodil Delight. And you could probably use sponge daubers or, or sponges. I'm using the stamping sponges, which um, come as a round sponge, and then you cut them into wedges. All right. And I'm going to work from my post-it note outward on this first step. All right, and we'll go all the way around. This is why you want your cat to be um, fully dry, the ink that you stamped with, all right, because you don't want to smear that. And then you can add more if you want to make that or, um, yellow daffodil a little bit darker, which is what I'm going to do here. Okay, all right. So the next step is to come in with the next color. Now our next darkest color is pumpkin pie. And let's see, let me grab my my wedge, my Stampin' Wedge for that. And I'm going to come in from the outer edge of the paper on this one. All right? I'm going to come in and we're going to meet that yellow, but yet kind of blend it together. Okay? And this, I'm going to use kind of my A rubbing, burnishing technique for that, sponging. Now we don't need to go all the way down into our card, so because remember that fence is going to be there. Okay. Keep going around. All right, and you can certainly add more to add some depth to this. And it doesn't, you don't need a perfectly edged circle there. Now we're going to come in with our last color, which is Cajun Craze. This is the darkest of our colors. And we're going to do the same thing, coming in from the outer edge and blending. Okay, so I'm not coming in as far. I'll just finish that up. I'm going to just go once around because I want that a little bit darker. There we go. Just had to get a little more ink on my sponge. And there we go. And we're ready for the reveal. Okay. Now, this is when you get to pull the post it note off. And there is our moon. Now, if you feel like the moon is just a little bit too bright, you could come back in and with our daffodil and the sponge and just like I just dabbed it a little bit just to take away a little bit of that brightness. There. You can barely see it, but it did just, just kind of take that away a little bit. But look at that. Isn't that fun? So I've added my fence, and um, yes, it is a little too long. So I'm just going to trim off the edges here. All right. All right, so I've added it to a panel of basic black, and it measures five and a quarter by four inches. I'm going to add this awesome new ribbon also in the mini catalog. It is one half inch satin and it is gray with black stripes on it and it's so much fun. Perfect for Halloween. We'll just move this to position it where I want it. Get out my, I love these paper and craft scissors, but actually I call them ribbon scissors and I mark them with a ribbon so everyone knows that's what they're there for. And we'll just add it to the panel of basic gray and, and of course these googly eyes, let me come in close, you may have not caught that in the picture in the first one. Isn't that adorable? Love the googly eyes. They come in a package of 50 for only $2.50, so heck of a deal. So add that for your finishing touches and 
looks like the Cheshire Cat. So I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to stop by my blog at dostampinwithdawn.com for more inspiration and creative ideas.